This is Christine Yelsa once again vlogging. So our video for today guys, we're going to set up this one which is binili ng sister ko sa Shopee guys. So marami nang bumibili ng ganito. Share ko sa inyo yung review and medyo na-excite kami kaya na-unbox na namin and na-set up na namin. So ang gagawin na natin ngayon is i-connect natin siya using the sound card that we have here. We're going to connect it here. Live sound card which is ang V8 na ginagamit namin pang recording. So, pang live stream or pang cover ng mga song or mag-record ng mga instruments, pwedeng-pwede po ito gamitin. So, huwag natin patagalin. Let's go and start. So, ayan na guys! And as you can see, nakabalo siya ng plastic because you want to secure this one and keep this one away from the dust. You know? um, it's really important to cover this or yung mga instruments nyo or whatsoever na mga... Kasi, Sometimes the dirt will clog inside this one. Uh, sisira yung mga gamit natin. Like itong microphone. So I'm going to open this one first. And I'll be done. Tadam! Sobrang ganda. Promise. Ayan na guys! So, so my sister surprised us with this VM800. So ayan. Actually, I'm going to share ko lang. Ito kasi nabigay nila sa amin. As you can see guys, hindi siya nabit in here. It should be connected like that. So, as you can see, that one is not, you know... So, segue lang, guys. How I fixed this. I saw this one. This one is just the same one that I used here. So, I saw this one sa tools ng papa ko. So, ganito ang pag-setup na. Ipit ko lang siya para makonnect ito. So, yeah, that's how I fixed it. I'm so proud of myself. So, I'm not gonna explain this one by one. It's already in the box how to connect this, everything. So, we're going to try this later. So, the reason why we have the air filter because it helps reduce the noise and it ensures the purest audio quality. Para mas clear yung voice nito. And we have here the, what we call the speaker. Kung wala kayong sound card like this, like this, you can use this. Which is included siya dito sa VM800. So, this one is 3.5mm and a USB type. You can connect this sa laptop. I, I actually I actually haven't tried this yet. So it's, it's so easy to connect the M800. So we're going to We're going to start the mobile setup, which we have here the sound card. Nakikita niyo guys, nakabox pa siya because we don't want na na-expose siya sa mga dust or dirt or anything like that. Which is this one. Diba? As you can see guys, it's also covered with plastic. Kasi para iwas sa mga dirt and plug inside this one. Kaya minsan nasira yung mga gamit natin kasi nagka-plug yung mga dirt inside ng mga ganitong gamit. So for our V8, we're going to start um, to set up sa smartphone using this cord that we have, the 3.5mm and this one. I will connect it sa Live 1, either sa kanilang dalawa, Live 1 or Live 2. I will connect it in Live 1. The condenser naman is, this one is 3.5mm and I'm going to connect it dito sa condenser mic. Kasi condenser mic needs 48 volts of phantom power. That's why it's separated with the dynamic mic. Kasi meron siyang built-in na uh, phantom power. So, so it's really nice. So, dynamic mic, guys, it's for ordinary mics like this one. And, dito natin yung connect. Dito natin yung connect. Kasi this microphone doesn't need phantom power. Ang kailangan ng phantom power is the condenser microphone. We're going to use earphones. Para manating natin yung sarili natin. It's what you're doing. I'll connect it sa headset. I'll connect it here sa headset, guys. So before you turn on everything, you have to plug in first what you need. And then, sa kami siya ito turn on. And pag nagbuna siya is, you're good to go! I'm really happy kasi we have these things na ginagamit namin pang recording namin. So ganyan, ganyan ito ang setup ng smartphone. So for recording video, I will explain to you guys what I usually do kasi um, I separate the audio with the video that I record. The reason why is because kung mag-record ako ng video together with the audio here, directly, directly, so ganito ang setup niya, ganito ang setup niya, it's just the same. We try to record the video together with the audio with one phone. And ano nangyari? The effects that I set up here, the echo, the treble, and the bass, is hindi siya pumasok dito sa pag-record ko. That's why I separated the video and the audio recording. So, dito namin uh, nire-record yung audio. This is my sister's phone and hindi niya na masyadong ginagamit. That's why we're using this for recording ng audio. 
and ayan. So, ang setup ko is, I plugged it in Live 2. And the Live 2 is for the audio. It's okay sana to use only one smartphone for recording the audio and the video. I don't know if there's an app na makuha yung effects ng V8 for recording. So, if you know guys, you can help me. Just comment down below. So, I also have this cord. Ayan. USB and USB type. Actually, nagamit ko ito siya for background na live stream ako. Background music. I connected it here. Same sa live, sa live 2. So, for our next guys, sa mga nag live stream naman, what I use is actually also the two of two of this. Pag nag live stream ka, this one is for the video. And this one, sometimes I use this for background music. Para medyo maganda yung ating pag live stream. These effects are very useful. And then, you just have to click the dodge. Kasi dodge, it accompanies your background music. Every time nags speak ka, every time nags speak ka, nag-lower yung volume ng background music mo. And then, pag hindi ka na magsasalita, yun, normal na yung background music mo. And then, so, ayun na for live stream, guys. You can also connect this one sa speaker niya if you wanna hear it na not using the earphones. Kung ikaw lang isa, kanyang sa room niya, ikaw lang isa, you wanna hear it. So, ayan. You just have to use this cord. Ayan, cord na yan. So, that's it for the live stream and the mobile setup. For our next is sa laptop na naman. So, we're going to try this one sa laptop. So, para malaman natin ang differences pag test natin ng audio, guys. So you can directly plug in the BM800 directly to our laptop or if you have a computer, you can connect it to some computer also. But the background noise of the microphone that you're using is more noticeable if you're using laptop or computer. Kaya, based on my experience, hindi ko masyadong ginagamit ang laptop. But I will show you how to set up this one. So we're going to use this cord. I'm going to connect it here sa level 1. And then connect this one sa laptop. So what I use sa laptop for recording is the Audacity, which is free option, guys. Yes, it's free. You can directly record sa Audacity. Normally, I don't use this. Sound check. This is VM800 condenser microphone using V8 sound card and recorded in laptop Audacity software. So for our next, guys, we're going to record the audio. Dito na naman sa pinagamit kong ginagamit ko for recording ng audio. So, I'm gonna start to record it in iPhone kung ano kayo ba nila. I don't know if, uh, siguro lahat ng iPhone ganito ang setup. So, if you have iPhone, it's good. Sound check. This is BM800 condenser microphone using V8 sound card and recorded in iPhone. Sound check. This is BM800 condenser microphone using V8 sound card and recorded in smartphone. Sound check. This is BM800 condenser microphone using V8 sound card and recorded in iPhone. So, yun guys, I'm going to try this one for recording in voice. Let me be the one to break it up so you won't have to make excuses. We don't need to find a setup where someone with a someone loses. Let me be the one to break it up so you won't have to make excuses. We don't need to find a setup where someone wins and someone loses. So I'm telling you I love you one last time. And goodbye. So that's it guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button if you want to be notified if everyone upload a new videos and like the video. Thank you so much. Bye.